and welcome back to more bloodborne we are very close to being done we've only got the dlc left and we already cleared out arguably one of the harder fights of the dlc but then again almost all the dlc fights are quite difficult um but yeah but welcome back and let's dive on in because oh if we're gonna try and beat it tonight it's going to be an endeavor because there is still a sizable amount of dlc that we need Uh huh. Shrouded by my thoughts, found to be only. Thank you for that important information. Okay, come on now. Uh huh. I remembered that. Do I need to get past you? Don't. Don't. Oh, you piece of garbage. Oh, that was such a waste. Ah. Remember at all times, keep out. Saw a cleaver when I'm not doing anything new. Slowly, slowly, slowly get some health up. Okay. Hello. Yeah, I mean, I've heard a bell. It's not like anything right now. Liar. Such well, you didn't specify you enough. The beasts you seek will not be found here. Go back to your home. And if you have the chance, put this knife behind you. Um, he's ringing a bell. I am a fool. I am the fooliest of fools. Any locked doors? No enemies. Fist of Grok. I remember this. Such an absurd weapon. A chunk of iron fitted with finger holes. A hulking hunter woman. Simple gratia. Ever hopeless. When handling hunter firearms, preferred to knock the lights out of beasts with this hunk of iron, which insolently caused heavy stagger. Gratia was a fearsome hunter and onlooker. And to onlookers, her unrelenting pummeling appeared oddly heroic. No wonder this weapon later assumed her name. Now I can literally punch me. <laughs> I die. Thanks for stopping by. I have never actually used that weapon before. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if I make that amount of progress. I'm thinking I should be able to. Then again, the DLC is not easy, so. No, ah, I didn't want to do the second one. Excuse me. Rats. Ah, rude. 
yeah, so I'm thinking I should be able to if I make good pace, but then again, it's a rough time ahead of us. <laughs> One sale for 20, 75 brands adopted. Dang. Nice, though. <laughs> That's a heck of a sale. Uh, can I just lure one of you out? I remember this too well, and I remember it being a gigantic pain in the butt. Okay. No, that's where the other one was. Gosh dang it. Hello. How did that whip? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Thank you. Oh. Yep. I remember this too well. <laughs> so mean. Stop. Get up. Get her. Thanks for stopping by. I'm wasting so many blood vials. Oh, well. No, I need you to fight. Yes, one down. Okay. Whew. No, I, I'm uh, trying to recollect myself. Would you quit sneezing rocks at me? Mm. Stop. Stop. There's some good damage. Sneeze. Sneeze. Thank you. It's better. Okay. Manageable. And by manageable, I mean that was not clean at all. I lost like 10 blood vials to that. Ay, ay. And now activate the elevator. By the oddest means necessary. By sticking an eye pendant into the skull of a dead body. It's almost as if this entire world is built around gaining more eyes. Specifically eyes within your brain. And now comes the part that's probably going to take me a while to get through. <laughs> this area is cruel and unusual. Black sky eyes. I thought she dropped it since she used it. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure it's down below because there are two items you get from below. Because there's whatever this one is. And then there's also, I think it's the cannon that's farther down below. Lawrence's skull. Oh, that's right. 
And we gotta get out. What is Lawrence's skull do? Skull's symbol of Lawrence's past and what he failed to protect. He is destined to seek his skull, but even if he found it, he can never restore it. Does this just allow you to fight Lawrence? And there's the cannon. Yeah, okay. Which we're, we're gonna save that one to last, because that one's a. I w it's not expected that that one's a rough one, but it can really can be. <laughs> I should be able to manage it just with how much lightning damage I'm dishing out. Even though it's not weak to it, I still just do an incredible amount of base lightning damage. Yeah, I don't know where you get the eye. Managed to break code vein today. <laughs> Finally found a way to break the system. Very nice. Hold on. I'm sure you'll find them somewhere. Drip, drip. I thought she dropped something. That's why I killed her. I was wrong. Although we are getting enough blood <laughs> I'm Very murder. <laughs> it's only somewhat. It's fine. Don't worry about it. One item there. Back to floor one. Up to the side. Oh, the laboratory is a mess. Look soon. All right, let's get into this pile of nonsense. Being able to two shot him is very nice. I always forget about your frenzied swipes though. Aha! Okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. Still hurts a lot though. Need to pay close attention to that. Mm. And if I remember correctly, some of these are booby trap. Okay, well What? I suppose eh. No Stop Hold on uh, Whomst Oh, gosh dang it Oh, that number is completely relentless at calling me at any time hmm. Everything is fine Yeah, 
this one is asking for it. The others aren't. No, I'm pretty sure all of them are asking for it. No, this one's not asking for it. Can I take his hand? Because I mean, I have like the doll's glove, <laughs> if that would suffice. I don't think I can. Nope. I tried. May you find peace. He's just quite the uh, drop. There is an item. much of a pain you are to deal with. So much yelling. Why with all the yelling? It's not like anyone's going mad or anything here. You're all just so unreasonable. I'm curious if it might just be worthwhile to keep this out even though the lightning is going to do more damage. That's right, there is a hunter here. Hello. So four hits. Four hit. No! What? Excuse you? Really? I actually didn't remember the one that had like a ripped spine with poison on it. <laughs> so bullets. Damp blood gem, and I think that's poison damage. Ah, that's right above. Where we were. Okay. I feel like we didn't adequately search the lower things. Also, I really wish I had the black skull eye right about now, so I could just yeet some bloody rocks at that hunter down there. Oh, well. You did me a bit of a favor. Uh, let's continue searching the lower floors first, though. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it all leads up to here anyway. But I just want to be doubly sure. Ugh. Don't remember that sound though. Very sickly wet sound. Hmm. 
Excuse me. Dang it. Didn't think I was gonna need pebbles anymore. Can I have some of your time? No? What? Are you serious? Come over here. Fine. I can. Ah, oh, that's why I didn't want to go over there. So many of you. All right, we're just gonna try for a while. We're just gonna talk just work. No headbutts. Three hits compared to four hits. <laughs> the damage ah, here is not really the chain attack. Ah. Do need the larger hits. Not anymore. When it's one be one, uh, I can manage. Rude. Never mind. Maybe I just can't. Are you quite done? Sure are. Uh, I don't think two health recovery every five seconds is going to keep up with this. <laughs> I need to up my game. Really? Especially not if I just keep losing these bits of health to kind of no reason. Stop with the goofy throws. Oh, are you kidding me? That last swipe was out of range. So, so much unnecessary. And this leads us right to where we were. So let's take back the stairs now that that pathway is done. Uh, stairs. Some things there or something there that I can't really get to. Rude. What was that? That was that. No, I heard it <laughs> just barely. No, you were weren't supposed to hear. third floor Please, please. Please, please. Please, please. Please, please. Please. I'll save you oh well I was expecting great results from that saving I'm sorry
Don't worry about a thing. Okay. Well, we got bullets for days now. Uh, this is basically covering all kind of intended pathways. Oh, maybe not all. I don't remember that being able to be activated right away. Also, we can climb down right there. But actually, does this just take us back down to the beginning area? First floor. Is that you, Lady Maria? No, someone else. No. You're someone else. Mm-hmm. Please, could you do something for me? Yeah. I need brain fluid. Mm. Murky, mushy brain fluid. Yum. Please, I need... Can do! As soon as I find them. Or remember where to find them. Okay, so that's the very first door down at the bottom. Now we can get back up relatively quick, quickly without having to do too many enemies. There is still a path to climb down though. have time to mess with you. <laughs> I'm just going to take the immediate fast option. Decorative bolt hunter. Don't say. It's difficult to tell because we kind of are very bloody. Um, what a way. Hmm. Blindfolded now, are we? Hmm, maybe we should go back to do it. Did, did I get gloves that were the decorative? Where? What am I missing? Yeah, it looks alright. Kind of like the way it was before. Um, yeah, Henrik and Char. Yeah. I kind of like the floofy torn cloak. Um, so that opens that. But where? No, that's literally just some draping. Oh, this is new. Laboratory floor two. Uh oh. Just need to get rid of them as fast as possible. I'm not taking any risk with their erratic. Blood. So we have this method to climb up, but we also have uh, the method from the other direction. But we also have you. Blip, blop, blip, blop. Yeah, huh? Splish, splash, splish, splash. Yeah, huh? You seem to be minding your business, all right. At least you're ma building a constructive gu constructive garden. Garnum doesn't have enough greenery these days, so I appreciate that one. Okay. 
Okay, and this leads ah to a freaking rat that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> ah, more rats. And we cannot drop down. So this is essentially a dead end. For the time being. Okay. Now, now that really only leaves the current path of going up the way we were supposed to, which was down. Fastest way to get back up here. Come on. Also, I hear the grossness, and I'm assuming it's right there on the second floor. But I'm not really w willing to risk the jump to there. It seems a little far. I'm just going to wait until we potentially unlock other paths. Please open fire. Mind me. Ah no! Ah, oh, really? Really, old man? It's doing so well. Ah. Oh. oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, wait, no, you're still alive. You sure are. Still alive to haunt my explorations. Should I just go and attack him? I'm tempted. Let's clear this out first, and then we can jump down after. So this one doesn't have a head and is impervious to stunning I actually don't remember that at all. hello don't mind us I didn't remember headless fruit simple way to take care of them. Okay, take four, four, five. Perfect. No. It's a good thing I was running the opposite direction. Hmm. Mm, those are moving. Are you the heads that were severed? I think you were the heads that were severed. Or the... Oh, you were the heads that were severed and there were many others before you. Very good. Oh, good. I don't remember that attack. That's terrifying. But also, oh, we got the best head. <laughs> An enlarged head of a patient of the cathedral with the cavity that just happens to fit a human head. Although one would be mad to try it on. But if you do, listen carefully for the sticky sound. Drip drop is water seeping up from the depths slowly. Very good. 
it. I don't remember if there's any bad effects to keep it going, so I'm just not. No! Bad! I also don't remember them having weird frenzy tentacle attacks. Ugh. Okay. I think this clears everything in here immediately. So let's double check. So we can still jump down to the old man that we kicked down um, you'd think you would expect the brain tentacles by now. i mean everything in this game has tentacles so yeah probably should have but i'm a dangus also did i thought i heard him where does this lead does this lead to the laboratory third floor? Sure does. I remember these dead old men. And, and so that's unlocked. I was just going to say I could have sworn I remembered some secret areas. Yep. Let's get oh well oh. got the hunter to deal with now. Oh and this is where I would have dropped down. Oh, okay, well <laughs> that was on the game. <laughs> he wasn't like loading. I heard his gunfire. <laughs> And I'm glad I did, because that would have been a rude awakening. Oh, I was expecting you to stay away. Ah. Uh. Really? I'm just really not going to take any chances here. Rude. Stop. The poison knives. Stop it. <laughs> you jerk. That's better. Sanitaries. Yeah, huh? Lady Maria, I'm a Robin. Will I ever grow up and become a man? That's not what Robins do. No, it's not what Robins do. Also, I remember you regenerate, so sorry, not sorry. This is how we get our brain fluid. Okay, so I think that basically covers all routes we can do unless we want to, like, do some crazy jumping. Yeah, you're just perfectly fine. How do you know that's what Robins? You're a Robin expert? I'm not, but I know that Robins don't go back into an egg form. At the very least, I know that. Okay, we'll move up this drop. Oh, wait. Oh, I wanted to check the other elevator just in case that also had a secret.
you also have a secret exit? No, probably not because you have wood blocking the other two pathways. Sure doesn't look like it. Nope. Okay. Time to go back up to this sense. Now we can go up. We can take further up or okay, then this is how we got it. But now I remember that there's one of you here. Oh! No, no. Ah. Okay, what? You're like the only enemy that hasn't been stunned by that. Whew. Like, at the very least, most enemies, like, get a small, st like, a stagger from that. But nope. <laughs> they just take it like a champ. Alright, now we're up here. This nonsense. Just need to be careful and don't lock on whatever I do, because... Any adjustment in movement could be very bad. And you too will hear the sound. The sound of water, you say. Hmm. Listens. Not hearing anything. Not hearing anything. I think you're mad. Who will win? A hunter of hunters employed by an old one to kill everything they see and using vast powers of blood and insight or one boy with an IV drip. I don't know. Depends on what's in that IV drip. It seems to be something incredibly powerful by what I can judge. Oh no. Don't. Don't do it to me. Rude. As soon as I heard it drop, I was like, no. All right, we're almost done with this area. Because this changes up everything. Literally makes us go to the second floor of everything. Oh, why did you go down? Gosh. Uh, I was just gonna... <laughs> stab you in the back but why would you do this to me time splish splash you were taking a bath more brain fluid to consume oh good there's more rampant ones down there it looks like one of them died so i'll take that victory um so there's the one that fell there's this that leads farther down. But I'm not sure I can get back up here. I'm just going to push this back down to kill that crow. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't. Good. I just wanted to follow the crow. But I mean, I guess I could follow the crow anyway. Because that jump is not far that jump is not far 
And I can do that from the floor below. Excuse me. Crow! Are there any other places I can drop to? I don't think there were. I think that's the only place you can. Kind of expected to. Yep. Because yeah, that leads you all the way up. Alright. Uh oh. No, don't fast lad. Don't do it to me. Just trying to clear this place out as slowly and methodically as I can. I'm trying to clear this place out because I can die so very quickly here. Also, I'm very glad this game doesn't have any fine strike. Fine strike. Attack versus foes up 10.8%. Physical attack is 8.1%. What does it mean by attack versus foes? Because wouldn't that basically be everyone? <laughs> so why make the distinction? Okay. So we've already been here. <laughs> um, why do some blood gems have attack versus foes on it? And then some just have like physical attack up and attack up and both attack up and stuff. What's the difference between just attack up and uh, just attack up and uh, the other options? Why would attack versus foes be separate? I think we may more safely make this jump. Oof, that didn't feel great. Oh, and I've already been. Dang it. Just says foes. Should be like kin or beast, shouldn't it? Yeah, it just says foes. Um, yeah, attack versus open, open foes. But that's not the only one, but what? What does that mean? <laughs> what is open foes? I guess I just clearly skimmed over open many times before. It's when you're in the parry stunlock animation. Yeah. Yes, it is. I guess so. Yeah. Hmm. I suppose that is a that is more distinct than just saying visceral attacks up, because it's not all times happen where you actually do visceral attack. Uh, what's the best way to get back onto the lower tiers there? Dang it, I don't know the best way to get down. Without having to do more jumping, and I'm afraid of jumping because I really don't want to die right now. Builds with low skill will sometimes just use a second charge attack instead since their viscerals aren't that strong. Yeah, I suppose. I suppose that, that makes sense. Okay, I probably shouldn't have made the jump here. I suppose I can make this jump, though. Roll on to uh, this. God, it's terrifying. Well, we got another fast lad. Let's 
excuse me. No, what? Ah, oh, I got you before your <laughs> invincibility went down. Don't. Don't with the goop. Dang it. I'm trying to save blood vials here. You're making that increasingly more difficult. Blood vials. Take it from the three. No, what? Excuse you. I thought I was out of range. Uh. So very rude. Underground cell key. So that's everything below. Okay. We can do that soon. Um, what other options are left to me? Ah, here we go. The lock shield. Uh, if I remember correctly, that's actually an artisanal shield crafted with blue glass, originally used to safeguard the leader presiding over a sacred healing church ceremony and later supplied to tomb prospectors and particularly those exploring the labyrinth of the east. Uh, the blue is fashioned after a lake and the shield greatly reduces all forms of non- physical damage this is an actual effective shield unlike uh so many other shields also i just noticed that there's another item well, there's a few more items down there i think that may have just happened once we shifted everything uh this is where i just did that Man, isn't there more or is that it? I think I've gotten everything. Definitely don't fall down there. This is laboratory level four. I think we've gotten everything here. Pretty sure. That was one of the last things remaining. We can hop down here real quick to get the rest of this stuff. That should be everything. No, oh, good. Haha! I don't remember them having that. I thought they were weak as hell. Go down. Tin. They do drop good souls, though. Just gotta quick take care of these. Ah, rude. Ah. Losing so much of necessary health. Um. I'm pretty sure that's everything, right? That leads us back down, which we don't care about. We we'll, we have closer lanterns that we can just deal with when we need to uh, to get back down to those lower cells. Uh, our bow friend isn't here yet. Oh, looks like this one. Uh, I wish you would drop more blood vials. That would be nice. 
first floor balcony, which we do not have access to yet. Yeah, I think we've actually cleared this place out. Which I am not expecting the fight to be too dangerous, so we can just go ahead and fight. Give your brain for it. Yeah, just a sip of that brain juice. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, I bet it is. Oh. <laughs> oh, I know. Will you have my blood? Your brainy blood? I'll have you know. I was once a blood saint too. So do come back. If you ever run dry of saint's blood. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'll have you know. So do come. I think I have too many bloods, so... Does that mean I have to use these in order to give her more brain fluid? I don't remember how to properly... do her side quest. I'm assuming I have to use these in order to in order to get her blood and then you have to use it and then you have to talk to her again. I don't know, maybe we'll figure it out later. Since all I have to do is you can't give the second brute immediately unless regardless, but I don't know if you need to take her blood. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, this just allows us to get out to the fight. Yes. Okay. Don't have many blood vials, but we shouldn't need them. But just in case. And we are going to these blood vials. All right. Hello, little failures. Nice to meet you. I'm slow. Hello while we fight the living failures. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Don't. All right, that's a problem. That's a problem. No. Hide behind the thingy. No, 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 don't. Ugh. I don't remember not being able to manage this. Go away. I need to just take out like a couple more. There we go. Heck. Dear. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> I appreciate it. And I did the thing. <laughs> Hem slow, everybody. How is the rest of the arting? I hope it was a pleasant time. Did you finish the anime Tidden D? <laughs> well, welcome, everybody. Welcome, Lama Chamabo, Mastoria, Gray Squiggle, Fancy Bee, Sargodo, Johnny. Welcome. Finished the sketch. Nice. 
and then I would assume it's then off. If it's commission stuff, then getting feedback on that and then to the full blown endo or just going straight to the full blown end. It's not a commission. Doing it for funsies? Or to teach appropriate things. Q is entirely empty. I'm just drawing for myself. You can do that? I didn't realize that was a thing. <laughs> it's been literally years. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed the change of pace. <laughs> then. Figure out what to do with Sargat. Sargatum. It's Sargatum, Sargatum. And whomstever would be best at drawing a Gotham. And or what you would want your Gotham to look like, I guess. So yeah, there is stuff to figure out. <laughs> Let's see. Gammon awaits you. Go. Yes, yes, I know. Gammon's waiting. Very well. But we got DLC to beat. Uh... This let's bump the heck out of our Farewell, good people. very good arcane damage. Probably just toss the rest into blood vials because we can. So we got the cell keys, we got the actual Boktar key, which we gotta do. That's the next main thing. Yeah. Yeah, we honestly just need blood vials galore anyway. Adelon might just accept the second blame food now. That too. Still do have to do that. Um Oh, we probably No, we didn't we're not doing any upgrades. So I do need to just pop one of these so we can repair. I've been spamming the crap out of this. I did the best one through John. <laughs> Sar got item slash thing. That too. Uh, I think we can just head back then. Okay, we want to go. First to the corpse pile, because we got the key for the cells. So first and foremost there. And then we need to check back with Adeline and give her her slurpy brain juice. And then one other thing. Need to check with our bow friend. Yes, yes, yes. I, I know, I know. You don't have to tell me every time. Oh. It's gonna say easiest counters in the game, and then I didn't get the visceral. All right. They are cleared. Now I can start opening the cell. Hey, buddy. Yeah, huh? Seem to be doing a real good job here. Sorry about this. You didn't seem to be having a good time of it. Yamamura Hunter. Assuming that is a hunter not originally from. If I remember correctly, one of these doors opened and there's like a just an actual hunter waiting behind it. That's not a fun time. Uh, we'll check in with that friend later. Hi! 
Jeez. Ugh. I was right. <laughs> oh, and they're... Are they stuck behind the door? If so... Oh, they can hit me through the door, too. No. No, 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 no. Can you... Are you just... Are you messing with me? Are you actually not gonna get out of here? I mean, I'll, I'll cheese it. I have no standards. <laughs> Why does he have such a hard time getting out the door? You got the church pick. Yay. Also, hi, gamer. Thanks for stopping by. And then all the other ones. I don't. Who are you? And why are you? Are you alive? Sure aren't. OK. Seemed very glowy for someone who was dead. So I think that's it. With that church pick and the gear. Locked. Good. So that's locked. Uh, we should be able to just go on up then. Yeah, it looks like we opened up all the doors that we could. Uh, I don't think these hunters respawn. Okay. Max stuff. So there's also two other things. There was the... There's still the locked door down at the base. But I think we need a key for that. Um... There's also the, the one that was taking care of the butterfly. That seemed to be quite friendly. So hi, hello, bow friend. Not a pretty sight, is it? Not really. The true face of the blood worshiping, beast purging, healing church. But that's not all. You seek the secrets held by the nightmare, do you not? Sure do. Then here's what you must do. Listening. Climb the astral clock tower and kill Maria. She hides the real secret. She does. She does, unfortunately. Wife who hides the secret. Kill Maria atop the astral clock tower. She hides. So do come. Okay, well, it seems I can't do her yet. And it doesn't look like I can really do anything else. Unless I kill the one that was next to the flower. Maybe I should have done that. Maybe I should have done that. Dang it, that's probably going to be a pain in the butt to get to. I don't remember where it was. <laughs> Sar got drunk. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Just out here. Where? Yes, yes. No, this leads to there. Where? Stark got murdered. <laughs> oh. Where was? 
was the one with the door outside right there uh oh I might have to take like a death in order to get to there I don't think I can make that jump does anywhere lead to that anymore? Looks like there's a pathway all the way around on, on that second floor. But I can't be so sure. Oh, we're gonna go for it. Oh, well. <sighs> it would have helped if I would have jumped. Oh, great. Great, good, grand, perfect, wonderful. Gosh dang it. Ah, oh, the joys of having everything on the circle button. Oh, dang it. well, we don't need to be back this far. We can just teleport. We can teleport to the other lantern there are still quite a few things that i know we're missing from the dlc we're missing the other spell the shooting a booger from your nose spell we're missing the bow blade weapon uh as well as lady maria's weapon we don't technically know what that is yet but I know of it. Um, what else are we missing? So I know there's a lot of crap in the area past Lady Maria, and that's going to take a while to explore. This area actually took quite a bit faster to explore than I was expecting. I made a pretty cl clean first sweep of it. Gotcha. Please kill. Did that not kill? I'm going to be quite upset if that didn't kill. That had my souls on it. I actually don't even see him down there. So good. Oh, actually, no, they're right there. I'm an idiot. Go. Oh. Nope. Can't make the jump. Uh, so how the heck do we get there? <laughs> how do we get to the second floor? I should have just taken out that enemy next to the flower. I'm pretty sure it dropped something. It was foolish of me to just run by it. and Because I thought maybe it was like I had to bring something for the flower. I thought that was the special thing that I was associated. Heck if I remember. Still having a good time down here? Still don't want my other... Oh, now you want the brain fluid. Slurp. Mm. Ah, oh, thank you. Take this charm. Charm? Lady Maria gave it. Stop. Do not. Oh, this drip. How extraordinary. Do you think that water drips even down deep below at the bottom of the sea? Sure does. Can you hear it? <laughs> sure does. The fishing hamlet is above Try the it. other places we've been. Uh, how many other brain fluids do I need? Is it just one more? Or two? Uh oh, no. Ah! 
one more, but you get it from her? Really? So I have to pound the fluid out of her and give it back to her and she counts it as three? <laughs> hmm. Because I can't go back. Once she turns into a big brain. I need to wait for that to happen. Uh oh. So that's where I want to go. Can I just like... Dang it. Ah, rude. Ah, rude. I'm not gonna die right now. I'm not gonna die to you. How the heck do I get there? I think I gotta do it from the fourth floor. Yeah. This should. Yeah, this does. Oh. But it's fourth floor on the other side that I need. Ugh. Crap. What the heck? Uh, maybe this will be enough. Maybe this will be good enough. No, no, don't stun lock me now. Yes, I know there's an enemy here, too. Just needed to get below. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Wait, no, that this is the second floor. God, what am I doing? That's where I'm supposed to be. Oh, now we got this to do. But... Come on. There you go. Wasn't there another one? No, you're not gonna climb. Oh, gosh, dang it. Oh, well, then I'm probably gonna get auto grabbed out of this. Oh! Okay, we're fine. No, don't climb the ladder. No, this isn't where we need to be. We need to be on the other side. How do we get there? Ah, uh, where do we go? How do we get there? I haven't used the balcony key. It's on the first floor. I can do that whenever I want. It's just not what I'm kind of aiming to do with it. That wouldn't have helped me. So I need to get to the floor right below this one. But there's like no way to do it from this side end. How do you get back to there? Because there's no jump off point in the elevator. It had the enemy that was right in front of the fl the flower. The brain person that was attending the flower. I'm pretty sure they dropped something important and I'm trying to remember. But I can't get back there <laughs> not since I moved the not since I moved this 
There's nothing that connects there anymore. I could keep trying this jump, but it's just going to keep failing, most likely. Mm. Yeah, there's just nothing. And I can't undo the, the stair change that I did. Screw it. Going again. God! I don't think I've mentioned it enough times. I hate that everything is on the circle button. You have to be running and then you have to mash circle while you're running in order to jump, which means your jump timings are imprecise. Ah, whatever. We'll just not worry about it. We'll ignore the, the one that was attending the flower. We get those 30,000 souls if we want. Just gonna have to deal with it. Just gonna go back out to the balcony. Where everything is perfectly fine. Old buds. I remember this being a gigantic freaking mess. No way I can get back up once I step the button there, so we have to clear here first. I think we fall back down, if memory serves correctly, from up there. But there's still no getting back up here here for it there is one item we're gonna make a break for it and just hope for the best is this black sky eye okay we got it we got it no do not that's why we don't mess around there We have to jump across there in order to get the treasure chest. I do remember that. Uh, also, was that the sky eye? That's our spell? Sure is. Summons a tiny meteor from the dark depths of one's pupil. Deep within the eye lies a vast stretch of dark sky that rumbles with an endless meteor storm. The slightest rub of the tiny orb and the rock will tumble and soar. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You don't say. Summon a meteor from our skull. Please make it. Thank you. I didn't want to have to make this trip again. <laughs> Gem. <laughs> Don't seem to use the tools much, honestly. Think he used the time times just once and haven't seen the executioner glove get, get some good auger. Because in all honesty, it feels the most useful and most if or it feels the most useful <laughs> for the most part. Because the Tiny Tantris is doing most of the same thing. It does a lot more damage, but it costs six bullets in order to use it just once. So it just never feels efficient and worth my time. Uh, Executioner Gloves seemed all right, but not enough that I think I would actually use them 
in conjunction with anything or just for some poke damage and they cost what three they cost three on any given use which is still a lot Oh, now you're just, now you're just drip dropping. Let's get it all. Come on, hit the button. Yeah, I don't know. It just never really feels like it's worthwhile enough to utilize. That for the most part, I should be able to just manage with what I have in terms of, uh, I think it's it it does that every time it like doesn't count that guy is dead when i kick him off the ledge there so it just spawns my blood echoes up here um yeah it just doesn't seem like i really need or it seems like i'm better off just using my tonitrus damage in conjunction with the auto <laughs> just feels like that's the most efficient use of what i have But maybe I, it's not going to be the case anymore now that we have the eye. Also, I didn't I didn't see how many quicksilver bullets the eye takes. I have a cheap ranged option now. Is it just one? Sure, it's just one. Okay. Yep. That means yeah, we took out the pebbles for it. <laughs> uh, we should have enough. Level. Very Perfect. <laughs> so much arcane. I don't think I've ever stacked so many points into a single stat before in any Souls game. <laughs> Alrighty, die. Take care. Thanks so much for hanging out. Have yourself a wonderful night. Alright. Uh, I don't. We will. Let's just go on to the next boss fight. We'll check back in on our thing. Strength decks usually slow their scaling a lot easier earlier. Yeah, I I remember specifically like getting above 50 in either strength or decks just was basically like, why? <laughs> You're not getting any gains out of it anymore. So then I'll just bump up. Um, I would just bump up all endurance and health. All right. Time to have a time. Hello. Hi, Crisis. Thanks for stopping by. Even for just a sec. I hope you have a wonderful night at work. A corpse should be left well alone. Nimi Luis, thank you for the follow. I appreciate the follow. But it's also waifu time. No, oh, I don't remember how to fight waifu. Good start. No. Okay. Oh. Don't remember how to fight waifu. Oh. 
Thought I could have pulled out the auger in time. Nope. No, do not. Now it becomes a real fight. long rain mm. no grab it yes doing well dang it Yes. No. Oh, we we did it to each other. Ah. Dang it. Sorry, Maria. First try. Barely, but first try. Only use 15 blood piles. Ah. Uh, in all honesty, that's probably my favorite boss fight this entire game. <laughs> it's just so fucking cool. <laughs> Has a twin blade that she breaks up into a katana and a dagger. And then as you learn more about who Lady Maria is, uh, going through those other aspects of her fight me have a lot more depth and meaning. And it's so freaking cool. It's so very anime too. <laughs> uh, the fact that she uh, runs herself through to add uh, blood extensions onto her blades um, and then eventually also adds the fire on top of it just such an aesthetically pleasing fight and it's a really fun one to be Saw clear, we can pick away, use it. No, we're not gonna punch people with fists, we're not gonna use charge cannon, we're not gonna shield. Put the flames spray away, we're not gonna use that either. Uh, 
good. Didn't mean to do that. Um, is there anything you need to purchase with insight? Oh, you can purchase a blood rock from insight? I actually never knew you could do that. Oh. But we can't get Lady Maria's outfit. such a good set probably not stat wise but it's such a cool looking set yes doesn't look as good on our guy but it gets the job done We need to check again with our brain friend. We're just going to run back and forth and uh, get that done because that allows us to use one of the one of the weapons at the very end of this DLC. And then I think that's the last side thing that we really need to do in the DLC because we've already kind of led our uh, bow using friend all the way through to the end of the DLC. Or to the last area of the DLC. Now it's gone. Uh, so I think we've gotten just about everything, man. There you are. What were you doing over there? Oh, hello. Oh, See, you've evolved. Time. Will you fetch brain fluid just one last time? Murky. Mushy, the sticky sound whispers to me. So very close, right into my ear. Mm. In my head, just the head. That's all there is. I need my baptism. Please, I want to be something. <laughs> but you are something. <laughs> Specifically the biggest brain I ever did see. Oh, hey, look, more brain fluid. Want some more brain fluid? Please, the sticky... uh, Here. Uh, <laughs> Give uh, it right back. Uh, uh, mm. I see Such a lovely sheep. sound work in this game. My guide, I see your voice. Clearly as it bends and bleeds. <laughs> Thank you, Bruno. <laughs> oh. And now the brain officially. Okay. Well, we've got what we intended to get out of this. Which was the milkweed. Which that allows us to adequately use um, a late game weapon. Not a late game. Yeah, actually, it is a late game weapon. You literally can't use the weapon unless you have the milkweed room. Uh, and we can just dive right back in. I didn't feel like climbing the tower, so. Back to the tower. now we get to the final main area of the dlc we still have one other boss outside of the last boss of the dlc but we're getting there getting there slowly but surely The rain. Nothing quite like the rain.
Mhm. Ja. Ha. Very good. Okay, bye. All right. Let's see how we can manage the fishing. <laughs> see how best we can manage this. Because this place can be. Bit nightmarish in terms of difficulty. Okay, two hits with an empowered tonitrus. Four hits with unempowered, so they seem to be relatively weak to lightning. Noted. Six. That's always an item, so it can be quick. And eventually get it to the second floor. Also, just lovely barrels of slugs. Such lovely barrels of slugs. All right. Well, we're gonna have to take care of that right away. No. No, with the skulls. No. Locked onto the wrong target. Okay, well, this is a problem. No, 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 no. Oh, this is a mess. I just wanted a few of you at a time. Okay, well, that whipped. Ow. No. Do not get hit by that. No. Ah. Uh. Stop it. go that's better no no just kill him kill him please oh god those enemies are like my least favorite in the entire game they are so difficult to manage <laughs> hi era thanks for stopping by uh we're making really good progress we are in the last main area of the DLC. So we're getting very near to the point where we can, uh, we can, uh, finish the entire hacking game. But how about you, Aaron? You doing well on this night? Stuff. 
five blood vials from me. I will gladly take that. Also, I'm just going to keep using the saw cleaver here because... Oh! Because it does the same amount of hits as the unimpaled. Pretty good. Just got home from bowling league, so time to settle down before bed and leave. Nice. Just out of curiosity, yes, Twitch is very good for that. Um, what's like the best bowling score you've ever got? I haven't like in high school. I was in a bowling, league, uh, but I wasn't even that good at the time. I think the best bowling score I've ever had was like a two eleven, something like that. Three hundred is the best score. That's if you're like super good. <laughs> but I was proud that I ever got above a two hundred. Yeah, personal best, not world record. I know what the best score is. <laughs> wow, you just really don't like being in my range, do you? Ah, uh, just go down, you jerks. Stop dodging. Shot 308 times by high three game series is 844. And I've shot 800 plus six whole times. God damn. That's really good. That's impressively good, Aaron. Well, I. I know I don't watch shows and movies and stuff, but I still know things. <laughs> I know a lot of things. I just don't know anything recent with like big shows or big movies. Oddfire. Had like 3,300 games. Oh, 3,300. Your whole family bowls, parents and maternal grandparents met in a bowling alley. My younger brother has been on junior team USA the last two years. Damn, significantly better than me at this point. <laughs> Sargata of the world is brown. Don't even, don't even start. Okay, well, there's our triangle gem to add fire because that's actually huge. Ah. <sighs> Which means we could get our whirly gig. Could get our whirly gig up and running with a fire whirly gig saw. That's actually a super good find. Okay. So I think what I want to do next. So this is all cleared. Can I walk up here? Uh, I sure can. Okay, so this actually does take me to a shortcut. Very important. Uh, kick that ladder down. This then just gets us to an item. It. Oh, nope. I heard another. I heard another. Just take this one out quickly. Stop it. Stop it. Harrowed guard. Don't remember the harrowed. Harrowed. Oh, that's like the, the, the beast guy. The beast NPC that you could bring to one of the places and he would completely destroy people there because he's a meat. That clears up this so that I can run past whenever I want. Oh, they're still alive. What are you doing over here? What are you doing? Over here? This is probably a big mistake. This is probably a really big mistake. Kind of need. 
need to do it. No, this game at all. This area is a big mistake. Let's clip the player. No, that wasn't a counter. Come on. No, dodge, you fool. Okay, that hit started way before the animation did. That works. No, really. enemies are the worst like the big guys are awful to deal with already why not just give them a freaking anchor <sighs> we do have to kill them i say them as in a plural <laughs> there's two of them there I mean, I could technically just do chip damage from the car if I wanted to. Honestly, it's not a terrible strat. Might be necessary as we get later on. Oh, and. nearly one shots me get it down thank you now oh, where are you going oh that's where you're going well we're doing this now Come on! Oh! So I can't deal with this! No, I'm dead! Just fucking get the out of here god your range is so fucking absurd you have combos that i can't dodge come on no assholes fuck this i hate these guys so much you need to do this to get one of the weapons i fucking hate it there is no good way to dodge the attacks that they're throwing at you and as soon as you get the one that's actually difficult to deal with halfway down just decides to call in a friend why not? No, are you fucking serious? What a fucking way to start. Come on. Ugh. Yeah, 
That's a good start. Okay, the oh, second one's out already. You just dropped from the ceiling and you immediately did a charge. Just trying to deal with one of you at a time. Oh. I'm dead. Oh, how did I didn't, how did I not get hit? No, go away. No. Ah, oh, it doesn't help when you It doesn't help when you have to double tap circle to dodge sometimes. I'm pressing circle once to go dodge and he just doesn't respond. Why? I don't understand it. <laughs> I'm pressing the button that's supposed to get me the outcome I want and just nothing's happening. <sighs> well, we lost all of our blood echoes that we had here, whatever they were. Immediately with the nonsense. What? How is that not a back hit? Excuse me? Cat is back to me when I hit him with the auger. And the game says nay. DLC has a lot of good stuff in it. This well is not one of them. It is just an unmanageable situation. If it was just the anchor one, it would already be a well, a good enough challenge. But they decide to spawn the second one. Excuse me. I'm dodging at the right time in the right direction and it's just not enough. Full fucking combo again. Just such an unmanageable situation. I fucking dodged. This is quite honestly the worst part is the way that the game registers when you can dodge because again with the whole situation of not dodging when you are pressing the dodge button is that in order to force the game to dodge you have to mash dodge which means your timing for exactly when you are going to dodge is imprecise which is exactly what is reliant here because the because with the combo that's just the main hit here is that he does two quick swipes but then if you get hit by both of those in order to roll out in time for the delayed strike you have to mash circle or otherwise your character just will not respond in time but then if you mash circle you end up dodging too soon and you get hit by the third hit anyway 
if the game was just more precise in in what do constitute constituted as a dodge then this wouldn't be anywhere nearly as difficult Down for a visceral. And no, don't, don't you fucking jerk. Lives now. Come on. No. Nope, I'm dead. Fucking dead. This isn't a fun or interesting challenge. This is throwing too much at you. <laughs> like, so much of this game is a well-balanced challenge that you could potentially if there's too many enemies you can create situations where there aren't as many that you're dealing with on an individual base or on a at a time this is where the game is just bs because <laughs> there is no way that you have anywhere near the movement capabilities to dodge two of these things that have such massive hit areas this is just praying that everything goes your way. Which it most certainly will. That didn't count as a back hit. There's the one, two, three. And a bit. just so unmanageable <laughs> if it was just this guy it would be more than difficult enough as soon as it becomes two it is <clears throat> I want to get the stinking weapon this is by and far the most frustrating thing in this entire game In that time, the three hit combo was enough to kill me on its own. <sighs> Come on. Come on, game. I'm already down to 15 blood vials. Just want to get this part over. It's not like I, I can't really even do anything to increase my damage output anymore. My damage is just what it is. I could try and do this. Oh, that's such a slow strike. How I didn't die there, I couldn't tell you. You 
can't manage. The swipes are too big. So unnecessarily difficult. Increasing the damage really won't even help. So what I need to do is just try to freaking finish this fight before the second one even arrives. But there, are, what it takes to do that is a mess. Second one's out. No, come on. Heal. I. Yes. Okay. You're down. Just one left. And it's the easier one. No. One more. Thank you. Thank you. It's done. It's done. <sighs> Get the Rakuyo from it. Which is super awesome because it's Lady Maria's weapon. With all that mess is questionable. Oh, this is oh. got fish dogs. There's so many. Oh. And we got it. Oh, good, we got another anchor. Great one's wisdom. Good. Okay, let's just try. Get back to here. You did deal, deal with some of them at a time. Okay. Come on. Work with me here. Slowly approach me. some blood vials back making progress slow and steady progress okay another down what how did that miss 
They were just so uncontrollable. <laughs> so uncontrollable and strong. Where if that guy gets aggroed on me again, I'm gonna be very mad because <laughs> it is so unnecessary to have to deal with food. Bad doggo. You have my echoes. Bad doggo, bad doggo. Bad fishy doggo. Okay. a single strike no way no way So much. Fuck it. We're just not dealing with any of this. We're running through. I wanted to take the fights, the fight that is set before me. And I am just so fucking done with those enemies. Dealing with them on their own is the only scenario that should ever be set for you against them. Get the fuck away, damn dogs. Saw an item here. And apparently that's not how you get to it. God. Oh, why is that not a gap? Where did the big guy even go? I don't know. I don't care. We're done. Also, apparently this guy's done. to that guy was. again and again it never ends <sighs> please I need you to do something this village is the true secret a testament to the old sin it feeds this hunter's nightmare bring to an end the horror so our forefathers sinned we hunters cannot bear their weight forever 
Sleep well. The bubble. Not the bubble. Supposed to go, which means this is not. I'm pretty sure that's the way I'm supposed to go. I think this is another shortcut. The door doesn't open for that. It's a shortcut to the end. Not Got two other weapons though. Also, I forgot to take out our big old buzzsaw. Oh, there's the big gun. Bloodstone. Good. God. Just suck slow timing and tracking okay we are done Let's get back to the dream oh we're getting back to the dream we can quick play around with the other weapons that we ju just picked up but i don't think we're gonna do it i think instead we're gonna focus on i can't even requires blood tinge for Simon's bow blade, which I think would be a complete waste, and that's a lot of extra skill for the rock wheel. So never mind, we're not even dealing with it at all. Uh, we are instead gonna get out our whirly gig saw and put away bow blade, the rock wheel. No, I'd never want and pressing up as I'm coming out of the menu and it's making me use that technique to take blood for extra bullets. We need three? Looks like we need three for the whirly gig. Uh, just to, dang it, just to double check, we have kind of everything we want for the Ponitress. That depletes HP to use, no thanks. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that's similar, or that is anywhere near as good either. And our blood and our bolt gems, that's as good as it's going to get. What did we have? Tempering. I'm sorry, that's all we did was end up just going with extra damage on the sock leaper, just so that we could. Get some good stuff. For this one, we want odd fire. And in which case, we're not really even going to be able to use anything else. Nothing else is really going to scale unless we take something else off. That's transferring to Arcane, attacking versus Kin. And we don't want Arcane. We can do attack versus beasts and attack versus Kin, I guess, because it's kind of all we can do. It's kind of all we can do. fact what we want to do uh, and I think I'm just gonna wait I'm gonna wait on purchasing blood rocks because I have a I think there's some blood rocks that are gonna be coming up so uh, let's do that and we 
try to finish up the rest of this area. Gotta love the war league, so. Okay. So if I remember correctly, this is kind of like the last, last section of the DLC. And then we just got two bosses there and then uh, and two bosses to end the game and we'll be done. Which judging by the time frame, I think I will probably just finish it up outright then and there. And there's the bell. We have a friend. Good start. Bloodied arm. Yay. <laughs> Beats a tentacle mace any. <laughs> also, hello, mace. Thanks for stopping by. Forget how you. There we go. <laughs> can just hold it out all day. Such an absurd weapon, but it's so awesome. Hello. Come on. Ooh, that actually does good damage. That's a good chunk of damage for just holding out the buzzsaw. Hello. <laughs> oh, the Whirligig Saw is such, such a ridiculous weapon. It's so good. Not a terrible amount of damage either. Whirligig Saw is awesome. Hell yeah! <laughs> this thing's so good. It's good in the buzzsaw form and it's good in the wacky form. Where you beat people with a stick. <laughs> oh, I love this thing. Let her rip! <laughs> No, I don't think the buzzsaw gets used as a shield. Unfortunately. I also, what, what I want to try and find is a damage comparison. Okay, so that just gets me confused. Um, what It's so fantastic. <laughs> Have a moment of your time. Oh. Really? Come on now. So that's how much damage that did. Uh, what about the rest? Oh. Don't. 
Okay, well, everyone's getting up on that. This thing's awesome. Alright, well, I got some more. It does more damage than the, my cleaver. Well, my cleaver is just base physical now. No, I want you to come and fight me. Oh, well, I knocked the dog back. This whirly gig saw. <laughs> I definitely need to up upgrade this to max. It's so much fun to use. Uh, and there's an under entrance? Right here. Uh huh. Bell again? What? I see. Beast hide garb. I can keep fighting you all every day. <clears throat> or all the time. <laughs> no, hit the target that's nearby, please. No. Please do not. Are there like four places where I can fight him here? And that's why? I think that might actually be the case. Okay, whoa, that was weird. Like, the hit... The hit, like, registered? Like, the damage happened, but, like, the effect... And the stun didn't happen at all on that far enemy? That was strange. Enter this building at all? No. Doesn't really look like it. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh, that's gonna be bad. No, that's why. That was weird that that slowly blew up after that was actually really strange why did it slowly blow up afterwards but i think that's actually enough bloodstone chunks to get our uh, whirly gig up to max level we just need a bloodstone rock yes we need a bloodstone rock and then we Okay, and now it's making more sense. We got the key from uh, Simon, the bow user. Actually, no, where am I going? This is uh, I need to go back up here. Crap, how do I get back up? <laughs> how do I actually get back up? Um, did I heck it up? Did I do a bad? Uh oh. Um, oh, that's right. There's a, there's a ladder on the other side over here. All 
right here. There we go. Now we can get back in. That doesn't really look standable. I'm not gonna test that. No! Why did I lock on? Why did I lock on? That one was entirely on me. That was unnecessary for me to try and lock on there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, good. Okay, I think we can just run there, though. I don't think the bell guy respawns every single time. Guy does not respawn every single time. Oh, we do need to take care of you, though. These guys can launch lightning spells. Ooh, a bolt damp blood gem might actually be incredibly useful on the contrast. Hey, you. Oh, really? There we go. Come over here so I can fight you normally. By normally, I mean like that. Take care of this. Can't deal with these lightning spells that well. something they've given me quite a few of those maybe it would be more appropriate to use like fire here did these things count as beasts i would think they wouldn't count as beasts files excellent okay and this is the shortcut perfect Done. Ah, rude. Let's go down. Thank you. Okay, so we have a ladder going down. We also have the ramp, but we do have the shortcut back to here. Should we ever? Okay, that's also not allowed. Three of you. Uh, let's get the wood. I think that was powerful enough that it accidentally pushed him through the floor. That's fine. Dang it, I didn't want to. Oh, okay, and the ramp. Okay, the ramp just leads you to a ladder. But the ladder is new. Ladder is brain spinning. Hmm. Okay, and if I actually remember, there are actually there are items here. I'm trying to deal 
Really? I have a feeling that there's gonna be a lot. Uh, what's the best way to deal with all this? That's the way. Okay, so that's a long. That'll work. Big ol' over the head should do the trick. Let's grab it and go! Yeah, that works. That works for sure. It's got the range! Excellent. All right, that area is cleared. Uh, if I remember correctly, there was another spell slinger down here, but maybe this that was just because they dropped. I think that may have just been because they dropped. Oh no! Why are you out of their shell? Get back in your shell. You're probably much safer in there. And possibly a bit slower, but that's more manageable. I could have sworn there was a bloodstone rock somewhere. I don't recall where. Okay. Do you hear movement though? It's movement I don't particularly. Oh, what? How did that not hit? <laughs> Got a kitten for us, man? Oh, it was a very good kid. How did it get in that sock? How did it get in the sock? And how would it get out? That seems like a precarious position for a kitty to be in. Right here. That's better. Get him. Easy. So that's bell number three. <laughs> Bloody trousers. Just all sorts of bloodied gear. No! Do not! No. Why are you over there? How far do you go? Okay, you go all the way out here. Well, we're just gonna have to go and hit you once to stop you from spawning them. No, are you for fucking real?
just basically auto killed me because <sighs> it was summoning them and I don't really know how to deal with that unless I decide to like take out a pistol and try to snipe them from distance that doesn't seem like a great way to go about it I would probably run out of ammo because I have no pistols that have any amount of damage really Okay, come on. Come on now. No, now is not the time for a call. What? Hold on. Why was there... Ah. Uh... Okay. I set an alarm for an interview today. I must have set it for PM instead of AM. Whoops. So that went off 12 hours later than it needed to. Just to double check that that's that what it was. It was. Why did I set that at PM? <laughs> it's a good thing I remembered the interview. It's a good thing I remembered the interview <laughs> on my own without it. Another bell? Why another bell? Okay, well, I'll bite you here three times. Why not? Just do this all day. Can't handle these tentacles. didn't drop anything this time. That's rude. Want to be able to do this. No, nope. well. Really? I couldn't get the right target. Did I hit it? Is it dead? It wasn't, but it weirdly wasn't spawning more. I'll, I'll take what I can get in all honesty. A Molotov would have potentially been an option, but I don't think I have any Molotovs anymore. It's knowledge. Let's make sure you don't jump too far. Need to take this elevator first and foremost. Because this unlocks our shortcut, so we don't have to go through that again. to go through that nonsense ever again. Great one's wisdom. Even more wisdom than we've ever had. Is it just mean or do you get more loot and bloodborne compared to Dark Souls? Uh what do you mean? Uh, just me. Oh. <laughs> I was just going to say, just mean. That seems a strange way to phrase something. Um, I mean, you definitely get more loot specifically in my scenario because I'm running an arcane build. God, I was hoping that wasn't going to finish. Uh, we're going to try to finish this off as soon as we can.
gonna have to wait for that to get close. Or turn around. Turn around would be preferable. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm playing an arcane build, and part of arcane is uh, part of arcane is maxing your item discovery rate. No. So yeah, like all of my points I've put into stats and everything also increased my item discovery rate. So it's a bit, it's a bit tailored in that regard. Um, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit swayed by that result. Consumables for abilities, there's one gun gunpowder for a fireball. Um, no. Uh, this game just basically any spell or anything just uses quicksilver bullets. Which at this rate, I just have so many of them. Uh, and I need to go here just to grab frenzy resistance. Because we ain't messing with that anymore. we're not even going to be able to do this if we can't get past these stinking witches that cause frenzy also good night target thanks so much for hanging out yeah i will need some luck on orphan because if we we can if we can clear this out real quick we could potentially just finish the game tonight because it honestly, at this rate, it doesn't seem like we're going to have like another whole uh, streams worth of stuff to deal with. Because that's basically all we have left is just the bosses. That's most of what's remaining in the game. First Kin Hunter's Blood Gem. Good. I just want to clear out this last area so that we can restock everything, get our bear, or get everything good to go. Um, this. Sedative. Sedative. First strike. First heavy damp. Where are my blood echoes? Excuse me? Where are they? Oops. Oh, that's a waste of that. I can't even hit them. Where are they? I died right here. Where are my echoes? I would be upset if those are gone. Unless you have them. You do have them. Just die and give me those back. Jerk. Alright. Oh, back to our saw. Oh, okay, and then this is where uh, the light happens. Stop! Come back here. No! No! Let me go! Let me go! Don't kill me! Please! Please, please. No, God damn it. Ah. 
just trying to get rid of the lightning enemy. Just trying to get rid of the lightning enemy. <sighs> um, as far as I'm aware, there are no enemies that are completely immune to a damage type, but there are those that are very resistant to a damage type. Because there'll be some enemies that are quite resistant to damage from, like, uh, blunt damage or very resistant to um, to regular slashing damage. Um, there are some enemies that are on fire, which are obviously uh, more resistant to fire. Okay, lightning's down. Don't have to worry about it. How did I get lifted up into the air there? I will never know. Okay, who is my freaking blood entrance? Which one of you jerks have, have my blood entrance? You have them! There we go. That's better. Come on. Go away. Is it on fire? Could be more. <laughs> That's not. I wish the fire resistance worked like that in some games. Or it's just like, why not literally try fire fighting fire with fire? <laughs> just to be silly. There you are. That's the other one I remembered. That we fell down here before. <laughs> Not quite. If I get to it today, which I expect I will be, we will fight an enemy that is quite literally on. There's the blood rock. I got an odd bolt gem as well. These should be quite effective. So bullets. I think that's everything. So we no longer have to worry about drops. Yeah, we don't have to worry about drops and we shouldn't even have blood echo stuff on anymore. Alrighty, Aaron. <laughs> Thanks so much for hanging out. Stinks you won't get to see the end of it because there's literally the only thing remaining in this game is four boss fights. Um, But yeah, you gotta hit to go to bed when you gotta go. <laughs> I appreciate you. Okay. Let's just get back to the dream. We'll do a level up. <laughs> Thank you for the good luck. We'll do the, we will do the level up. Do our upgrades, we'll attune our gems, we'll rethink our stuff. Uh Farewell. let's actually just use up everything. Because uh, we are basically done with the game. Uh, 
actually let's let's also just dump all plus 182 and just straight fire damage was nowhere near what we can do a saw cleaver even to double check put on our fire gems just to see the comparison yeah it just ooh, it has a b scale stat with arcane which is huge yeah one so this is 301 is what this max says out to, and this is 372. Get in the whirly gig. Um, so we're not really going to use this at all anymore. So we can just take those off. Conatris, take the torch off. Um, uh, we are not going to be using the fire paper, I guess, anymore. Not sedatives. Let's get our spells in one spot. And put our heels behind it. Because we're probably not going to use them, but we'll put them there just in case we do. Good, is everything there? Blood gems, tonic is first and foremost. Add bolt attack plus 42 bolt attack up plus 4.1. It's not as high of a percentage up, but it does a much higher base bolt damage. This is just straight attack up. We want to potentially get rid of this one because it increases physical. This is what we want. We got that bolt. Damp blood gem. Bolt's 18. Okay, that's going to be huge. So we're most likely going to use the tonitrus for almost all remaining fights. Uh, and this is just all attack up plus 15%. So bumping up physical really wouldn't help us at all yeah. whirly gig we'll do arcane if we wanted to but we don't we want to keep it at fire even though it has a good <laughs> arcane scaling stat unlike most things in the game um there's not really much for good options though left which really stinks I think it's something else good against beasts. That would be nice, but we kind of don't. So, uh, yeah, we really don't. It's kind of nothing that's great. I mean, we could change it to all, all arcane. It does more total damage. Because this now gets up to 439. And we do have another arcane boost. I think we'll go with that. Because that's pretty hefty. It's all arcane damage, which I really don't know what's weak to arcane in this game. That seems pretty strong. Sock cleaver away. Um. <clears throat> All right. It's okay. Fine. 
So we have increased HP. We don't need frenzy resistance. Um, rally potential might be worthwhile. So we can recover more of our HP. And then moon. Let's see. Boost max HP. We already have one. Max stamina. Maybe. Don't need blood vials. Visceral stacks restore HP. Not really. I think we're just going to actually go for max stamina. I think that should do it. Um, shoot, how many? Uh, we're not going to have uh, seven blood chunks. And that's kind of all that's left out in the world. So we kind of can't get a whole lot. Dang it. We're not going to be able to fully upgrade the... The final weapon we get. Unfortunately. But also, good night, Max. Thanks so much for hanging out. Uh, and no, you cannot, unfortunately, uh, equip fire, paper, to gun. You can only use bone marrow ashes on your gun. And that just increases the damage. Also, wait, hold on. It just strengthens Quicksilver bullets. It's a special bone marrow ash collected from Hemlock Charnel Lane. Invaluable to hunters with weak blood tension require to use require the use of stronger firearms. That strengthens Quicksilver bullets. I'm curious if that increases damage. Yeah, no double double shotguns. Uh. I'm curious if that actually increases damage because that would be really interesting if it did. We can test it. Yeah, we're gonna kind of everything. So we are at the end. All right. Let's see what we can do see what we can do i don't expect to first try this because this is a very difficult fight okay So, just on this enemy, right here. Really? My whiff. Really? Ah, oh, they one shot. Never mind. Can't test it on them. Three fifty-five. I'm gonna go back to the hunter's dream. Oh, it applies it to your weapon. Never mind. We're going back to that. It's a very unnecessary health loss. But Bone Marrow Ash applies it to your weapon, so it uh, it only is effective at increasing damage from the sidearm or from yeah, from your long range weapons. <coughs> Unfortunately, you can't just munch some Bone Arrow Marrow Ash uh, to make your spells stronger. <laughs> Which is what I was hoping. All right, now we can go fight the last bosses. I'm hoping we can finish them quickly. I don't want to be up too late tonight if I can prevent it. Oh no, there is one other thing we gotta do. Uh, we'll try and beat Koss first. Nope, where am I going? That's not where I'm going. 
but there is one other thing we got to do, um, and that's what that guy w uh, was summoning himself to fight us. And we have the key to go take him out at the source. Okay. So lovely. Good job, you broke free. I guess. Maybe we should also change our armor because <laughs> we're not exactly wearing the most powerful armor either. We should probably just increase our, um, that counts as like blunt damage, right? I think it does. We should probably put on some armor for that. <laughs> Physical and blunt resistance, if we can. Ah, constable. What, 60 60? It's best. Constables are also 60 60. We're gonna look like trash. There's some 70 50. Maybe we can put those on instead. Oh boy, we look like garbage. Not looking grand, but I'm sure it'll work. It's the worst we've ever looked. Okay, hopefully this will go better. Yes, nice. Some good chunk. Okay, that's a big double. Nope, back away. Oh, well, I forgot that you could throw it. Oh, really? Come on now. Oh, 
Oh, back away from the double. Nope. Oh, what? The point blank throw. Really? Oh, really? Come on. Gotcha. Come on. Drag behind. On. We're not looking great on blood vial usage. Great. Please give me more of those. Yes. Dang it. Lift it. No, please, are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> One comboed? Uh, how the heck did we get one comboed? Uh, Try or saw. One combo? Really? Gosh, dang it. Come on. Come on. I have no idea if this thing is even like the fire damage. You know, find out. Sure doesn't seem like it. What? That hit me twice? Yeah, this doesn't do as much damage. Yeah. At least I know I can counter that 
visceral, even though it does no damage. That is garbage, okay? It's not because of the damage it does. It's because it hits you twice if you're behind him. Why does it hit you twice? Why does it trigger twice? It's like 90% of my HP if I just happen to be behind him during that attack. Which would, it would make sense in other conditions, but not when it's just a passing through hit. It should not be hitting you twice. Also, our damage might have been low if they were the gig saw because we were trying for arcane damage. <clears throat> Which this thing might be resistant to. Also, don't like how little that visceral attack does. I might as well just go in for hits. That's a whiff. He would work with me on these visceral hits or on <clears throat> some of this other stuff that's been happening. It's the dodging. I'm hitting circle to dodge and he's just not. Two. No. No. Come on.
come on. No. No. Don't throw. Quit the throwing. No. Stop. case no come on <sighs> fucking hate that if he goes to charge up the projectiles when he's at close range, you can't dodge it. There's no way you can dodge it. There just isn't a way to dodge it. <laughs> I don't know what else to say because it's he jumps away and just fills the entire zone where you are near completely full of the projectiles there's just no way to get around it and then that leaves you open for whatever nonsense he decides to pull out Good. can be such an interesting fight sometimes and then other times it can just be like screw you so, I mean I could try to play this fight super safe but then it's just going to take forever. Because if I go based on what openings I have, I have basically one hit. I have one hit that I can do whenever I have an opening. It's too far away, so I can't peel that off. dragging attacks he follows up the ones where he doesn't drag the thing around but then he follows it up with one that does <sighs> basically whatever I have to do I guess I have to be dodging into his attacks because immediate invincibility is basically all I have I don't have any extended invincibility or anything. It has to. because the attacks linger so long on the ground. Well, you basically have to dodge into them no matter what. Even when it completely feels like 
whatever you're dodging is appropriate, it just won't be. So how prolonged it is. I would fucking love it if I didn't have input delay on my dashes either. I am pushing circle so far in advance. I wish I had an input reader. Cause this is such trash. That one nothing I could have done against that one that one was the targeting's fault I tried to do a leftward dodge but the camera was rotating a bunch so I ended up doing a backwards dodge I seriously wish I could show you an input reader of when I'm hitting circle on so many of these dodges because I'm hitting it and he's just not doing anything. There should not be so much delay. And I don't know why there is. I don't recall there being such a delay whenever I played this in the past. Like, it's a good half second in advance I'm hitting circle. And it is just not happening. I don't even know what sort of dodge was happening there, but I guess I just got caught on his hit and his collision. And he just dragged me along with him. There's nothing I can do to increase my damage any further. This is the max damage build that I can do basically with arcane I'm already down to 30 blood vials just also sucks because I can't get back in there to fight a lot of his stuff is either done at distance or so long that I can't get back in to dish out my return strikes. Ah, as much damage. Did you? What the fuck kind of stake did you put on that? I curved so hard.
phase two. Why are you healing? I never press triangle. Okay. <sighs> now we have to grind. Now we have to grind. We have no blood echoes. We have no blood vials. This is where another downside of Bloodborne is. You run out of blood vials and you don't either have blood echoes to purchase more. There's nothing you can do about it. You just have to grind away. Waste time. <sighs> Just some such strange stuff that always happens with this fight. The, the hop to attack me. I don't know why that was an auto lock. <laughs> he jumped up, I rolled forward, and while he was in the middle of the air, did a complete 180 <laughs> to come crashing back down on me. Oh, that's right. Forgot about you. That's right, you died. All the blood vials, please. Every last one. Really? Now you're going to be stingy? These guys almost always drop blood vials. There we go. Ah. Hi, Skechai. Thanks for stopping. That's enough for one more attempt. If we don't basically end up getting it, I'm probably just going to have to call it quits for tonight, and we'll have to just talk. talk. We'll just have to deal with the, all the... All the final fights of the game next stream. Because I don't feel like wasting everyone's time while I'm trying to grind away blood vials and deal with the nonsense. Oh, it's just the boss fights. The boss fight, the final boss fight in the DLC is incredibly difficult. And unfortunately, I'm also just having issues of my own on my controller side it feels like where it's my dodge attempts are not going through all the time so i have to mash dodge to make sure i'm dodging but then that makes my dodge timings um not perfectly lining up with what i want it to be so it makes it very difficult to manage. Um, and then this this fight is also because it can get so frantic and the boss hops around so much that 
the likelihood of incorrect dodges happening like you're dodging in an a direction you did not want to go to is pretty high. Why did it do a four hit stun that time? Oh, how am I not dead? Better. That was a weird jump. Like right there, I hit the dodge button. The game said no. away from that no, it's lightning Away. Nope, that's lightning. I'm just hoping I don't break my <laughs> weapon. It's lightning. No. <sighs> we have almost no heals. I had 
an input tracker. Because that was straight up a dodge that should have landed me all the inv invincibility frames I needed. And my character decided not to dodge. There's so many situations where it feels like I'm dodging so f much faster than I should be, like fa after falling off an attack and I'm able to dodge out of the way. But when my character is literally not doing anything, I'm hitting the dodge button and they refuse to do anything. It's so infuriating. I don't know why. I don't remember that ever being a thing in the game before. I just don't know why it's not dodging. And now we have to farm again. So I think I'm just gonna call it quits for now. I'll probably just farm a bunch before stream on Wednesday. And then we can just close it out. Because we that's all we have is four bosses. That's all we have is four bosses remaining. And that's the entire rest of the game. <sighs> Which means we'll probably end Wednesday's stream with Smash, because I don't expect it will take me the full length stream in order to beat the four bosses. But heck if I know if the game just keeps <sighs> keeps being cruel to me, it very well well may be the case but yeah it's <sighs> i just remember the fight being so hard in general and then having these issues on top of it is not helping so I th i'm pretty sure i'm at the point where i can manage most of it because the lingering dragging of hitboxes during the first phase is manageable if i'm if I'm doing my three hits into a stun combo, and then I can get some free visceral attacks when I please, uh, or when he decides to do a jump over attack. But then the second phase does have some stuff that it feels like I can't dodge. The one that comes to mind is when he just decides to uh, yank a bunch of those projectiles out and throw them point blank at you. It, it basically fills the entire area around you with explosions that you can't really dodge out of the way and then if you are unlucky unlucky enough because that's typically followed up by them leaping away and throwing more if they get caught on the geometry or anything like that then they're just launching a second volley right on top of you ah <sighs> Just wanted to get it done. Ah, but the game said nay today. Well, it's it's not the telegraphing that I would say is my issue with it. I would say it's just an issue with the attack at all. Because it, feel, it feels like there really isn't a whole lot you can do to avoid it. If you are up close and going for hits and they use a retreat move that explodes the entire area of around you, then it feels like there's no real counterplay. It feels like you can't dodge it. You just have to take the hit on the chin. And that doesn't feel good. <laughs> Especially when, in order to do anything, basically, in Bloodborne, you have to be up in their face. So yeah, it, it's just unnecessary. <laughs> That's what I would describe it. But yeah. Uh, I got way too frustrated this stream. <laughs> way too frustrated with the whole well of those two giant fish monsters being as frustrating as I was expecting, but never nice to revisit that. <laughs> it's just a stinking mess. 
And then, yeah, just these stinking dodge... <laughs> dodge timings that my controller is just saying, nah, you're not dodging today, too. <laughs> Got me more frustrated than I would like to be. Also, hi, Casa. You unfortunately did miss today's stream, but yeah, I'm not finishing Bloodborne today. That's all we have remaining are the last four bosses of the game. Um, we got the regular final boss of the DLC, which we were trying our darndest, uh, but it just wasn't going our way. Um, and then we still have Lawrence in the DLC as well. Um, and then the final two bosses of the game. But those will have to be for next time. Yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out. I'm sorry if me being frustrated is frustrating to watch. But that's what this game can do sometimes. I felt like I was learning and getting better, but it felt like some of this stuff was truly out of my hand. <laughs> out of my hand. Also, hi, Grim. Bye, Grim. And also, thank you so much for the five bits, Sketcher. Appreciate it. <laughs> well, yeah, I know, like, some stuff is expected, expected, but there are some things in this game where it just doesn't feel right. It feels, it feels more so that you, there are situations that you can't really do anything about. Um, one is just those giant fishermen enemies, which I just hate <laughs> so much. The giant fishermen en enemies are, uh, they're awkward. Um, and then the ones with the anchors have so much range that they have so much range and their attacks can come out so fast that you, you can find yourself dodging one and being immediately hit by the follow-up attack and you can't really do anything about it. Ugh. But enough rambling. Uh, yeah. We can go say hi to Dan. Again, thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out. Uh, we will finish this heckin' Bloodborne adventure on Wednesday. Um, and because it's only four bosses, I expect we'll end our lane. We'll probably end up playing some Smash. Because <laughs> that's my go-to for uh, follow-through activities. Um, and then Thursday will be Halloween. Uh, and I will probably be playing dead space 2 on halloween and it's gonna be terrifying because <laughs> i remember what my experience with dead space 1 was <laughs> but again thank you so much let's go say hi to dan give him some love and have yourselves a good day goodbye goodbye goodbye